You guys, am I gonna f up on accident? I am. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing this Gorga day? I had some pre-workout, so I'm fucking hyper. Do you know when you ever get so hyper, you just wanna grab your own eyeballs out of your own socket and just, huh? <laughs> That's me, currently. <laughs> anyway, you guys, so I'm so stoked for today's video because of course we are gonna be continuing the series of paying my fans some coin to make me a mystery box from out of the country or in the country or wherever it might be. And today I'm so excited. We have a new box here and it is from Ireland all the way across the pond. So huge shout out to Maria for sending me this box. I paid her and she sent me over one. I'm gonna leave her Twitter handle right here. She actually said it was okay for me to mention her name and handle in the video. So this is Maria right here. She lives in Ireland and I'm so, so, so excited that she wanted to send me a box. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I paid her 200 bucks to send me over a box and I'm really, really excited to see what the content of this box are. I always get a little nervous from these videos because I never know what's gonna be inside them. I always pray there's makeup obviously so I can do makeup and that's why I actually have no makeup on my face right now. So yeah, you guys, that's today's video is going to be, as always, if you guys don't like this video, if you guys don't like me, please don't fucking watch it and I'll deal with that. But if you guys do like this video, if you guys like makeup, if you guys like the gays, click the like button and subscribe and join the Manny MUA fam. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> I'm gonna start sending more money to my followers who send me make me boxes. I just feel like we can get more bang for a buck inside the boxes. Do you know for me why I haven't done that though? Because I was nervous that someone might hit me up and I might send someone money and then they like just completely ghost me and I'd be like, dude, that sucks. So I don't wanna send a large amount of money to someone that I don't even know personally. Um, and I'm just honestly going based off of faith and hoping that you guys will follow through and actually do this with me. And that's why I've been sending like lower amounts, like 200 bucks, 300 bucks. I wanna start sending more. I'm just a little nervous for that. But anyway, let's go ahead and start so we have 200 bucks here worth of goodies. Okay, literally, I'm fucking dead. We open the box right away and we have the luck of the Irish. We got some three leaf clovers and a little fucking castle and dream. Mm. Literally, all the parts of it are personalized. I'm so excited. We have a little letter, a peachy love letter. Oh, she's so freaking sweet. She said that everything she's picked in this box is things that she's used and that she's liked. So that makes me so happy to hear. Four shits and giggles. I love my shits and giggles. Oh my god! <laughs> I feel like fucking Lucky from Lucky Charms. They're magically delicious! I literally love this so much. I could not expect anything less from an Irish box than a gorgeous leprechaun hit. Leprechaun. Is that Irish? A leprechaun. What are you a leprechaun? We have a cheap. We have King Cheese and Onion flavored potato chips. Cheese and onion. That makes me nervous. Oh my god, magically delicious. That's good. It smells a little strong. It's actually really good. I love when you guys give me food. Honestly, I really do. I want to be cultured in your culture, you know? Fick off! Fick off! <laughs> a little mug that says fick off. I'm assuming it's feck instead of fuck because there's an accent. So fick off, fick off. Next we have a, that says drink me on it. She also wrapped these individually, which I really, really appreciate. Honestly, I really do. And they're like gold wrapped, which makes me think of leprechauns and gold. Oh my God, what is this? Powers Irish Whiskey Gold Label. So fun fact about me, you guys, I don't know if a lot of you guys know this, maybe you guys do. I actually don't drink alcohol at all. I never drank my whole life. I've never really, really been into it. So I will not be drinking <laughs> I like how I said drink me though, like an Alice in Wonderland where it's like drink me. But maybe Maria just didn't know that I don't drink, but that's one of the things like about me that I really like that I actually don't drink alcohol. I've just never really been into it. I love that, Just it's just a fun thing about me. My name's Manny. I like long walks on the beach, dick, and I don't drink. Moving on, next we have this cute little long thing. Mm. An Irish fucking whistle? Oh my God, this reminds me of like when I played the clarinet in like third grade and we did like My Heart Will Go On for the talent show. You know what I mean? Did anyone ever do that? Maybe just me. <coughs> Jesus Christ. Music to my ears. That is fucking you guys, honestly, I'm really living for this box so far. Like, I'm having a really fun time with this. I feel like Irish people drink a lot of whiskey. Drinking in Ireland is like a thing. I really feel like that. I've like heard that somewhere before that like, they're drinkers. Hey, more power to them. I just love how they all have like, it's such a sweet touch, Maria. Gracias, mija, gracias. A brush, we have a brush by Be Bold. This is the brand Be Bold. It's literally like Be Bold. 
and we have our first brush. We have our first makeup prototype. I want to talk in an Irish accent, guys. What, are you trying to say something now then, yeah? That's just a noise. Are we supposed to be able to understand her? The bristles feel nice, honestly. Cute, okay, cute, cute, cute. We're gonna use that for sure. We have a Sosu X8, I can't read. What's that say? Sosu X, I didn't Kate, I didn't Kate. I can't read cursive because I'm a dumbass fool. Let's open this. We have another makeup product and it's a collaboration. Oh my God. I've actually have used Sosu before. That's the real gag. I have used it before. I've received product from them because they did a collaboration with Kaylee who I'm a massive fan of. Oh, Kaylee, anyway. way. Sickening bitch. They sent me that and it was stunning. Oh, it's a little circle. Face and Why am I literally living for this? It's fucking adorable. What a sickening color story, you guys. With the AK embossed in the middle of it. Yo, whoever you are, Miss Eileen, Aiden Kate, Aiden Kate. You did that. You fucking did that, ma'am. Obsessed! This is, I cannot wait to try this. Next, we got two more makeup products. We have another product from Sosu. This is the Ultimate Trio Contour, Highlight, and Glow. And we have a liquid illuminator from Flormar. Never heard of Flormar. I'm excited to try her the fuck out. The Ultimate Trio Contour, Highlight, Glow. We have a nice little powder trio. A threesome! <gasps> we love a threesome. Actually, we don't. I've had a threesome before. I've had a couple. And they're honestly just not my thing. There's just a lot going on. I've been in a few of them now, and I feel like I'm allowed to say like my opinion on them now. So I like to focus on one thing at a time. You know what I'm saying? Flormar! So it says Double Radiance Primer Highlighter. This is no liquid highlighter. So it's like primer. I think it's basically like a, a shiny primer. Okay, cool. I'm excited to try that out. More Flomar. Flomar. I just love like the word of that. F Lomar. Or it's F Lomar. Who knows? Ultra thin brow pencil. Ooh, it's creamy as fuck. Look at that. <gasps> Bro, we have so much makeup in here. I'm so excited. Like we have mostly makeup and a couple like fun goodies, which I really, really enjoy. We have these dewy lip boosters from Flomar as well which look absolutely divine, divine. Oh, there's a couple of them, I'm sorry. We have four of them. We have four lip boosters. I'm gonna boost this bussy. We have this from Note, N-O-T-E or Note, just it's Note. Why do I try to be cool? Matte Ever Lip Ink, and it's nude. Oh my gosh, she knows I love nudes. She knows I love them. Eight hour long lasting kiss proof. I'm assuming it's just a liquid lip. Oh, but it feels nice. The coverage is gorgeous. It smells sweet. It has like a sweet scent to it. So stoked to try that out. Why is this packaging so cute? Lip tattoo. Wow, these are like, I'm really impressed with them. They just look really cool. I really am liking the packaging of this. And we have a lash. Oh, we have a lash by P Perfect. And we have this last product by P Perfect. This is the Caliente. No, 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 no. Clientele. I can't read. Clientele pigments. There are pigments. We're gonna use them later. We sure are. Okay guys, so that is it. That's everything that's inside the box. And honestly, I'm really excited to try them out. So we don't have a foundation or anything, so I'm still gonna be using like some of my own products here, but all the things that we have here, I'm going to be testing out and seeing what we think of them. Okay, so let's go ahead and go in with the floor. I really hope I'm saying this right. If I'm saying it wrong the whole time, I'm gonna be fucking passed. I'm gonna be fucking passed. F. Lomar, Double Radiance Primer Highlighter. I mean, if it says it's a primer, but it also says it's a highlighter, I'm not sure. So I'm gonna try them both on. I'm just gonna put it all over the face because it's like a Radiance Primer. Okay, this is really, really highlightery. You guys, am I gonna fuck up on accident? I am. Okay, well, I mean, it gives me, it feels like a primer. It doesn't feel like a highlighter. Oh God, what did I do? No, oh, no, no, no. Let's think this through. I think that this is a highlighting primer. It's a little dark for me, as we can tell. We're gonna just pat this on. Oh my God. It reminds me of those fucking TikToks of those girls that are like, I'm a girl with a full coverage foundation. You know, like those girls that have like really dark, intense brows and shit. Like they're just like making fun of like that kind of vibe. Okay, for so my entire face is literally radiant. Wow, I'm a little overwhelmed by this. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of foundation on and we're gonna see how the foundation looks with this like radiance primer underneath. I wasn't expecting that. When I put this primer on, I truly was not expecting that to happen. We're gonna use that brush that they came with. We're just gonna lightly buff that into the skin. And this brush reminds me of like a dual fiber brush. It's not packed heavily at all. Like not one of those brushes that are dense. It's not a dense kabuki, which I usually like, which is, this, that's why it's kind of strange. Like using this is kind of strange. Obviously because it's a primer, you guys, it's definitely like, you're not gonna see what it looks like when I have foundation over top of it, right? This foundation brush is actually working pretty nicely. It's literally like a dual fiber brush, but 
round. Anyway, so obviously you can see the primer's gone, and so it doesn't look whack on me. Okay, you guys, so I can obviously see the radiance still through the foundation. It's definitely peeking through, as you guys can see, there's still like a lot of radiance on my skin, but I don't see any of the, like the color of it, which is really nice, because I feel like I need a fuller coverage foundation to cover it, and this is more of a full coverage foundation, and it covered up that color that I had underneath before, but it actually the effect stayed, hmm, which is actually really cool. I will say that the color, because it is darker, it has made my foundation a little bit darker. Now that I'm look, looking at it for real, like really closely and on the viewfinder, it's a little bit darker than usual because I use this combination all the time for foundation and it's usually lighter than this. So this is definitely darker than usual for me. And I think it's because that primer underneath is so dark that it's gonna naturally pick up a little bit. But I will have to say, I would like to use this if it was lighter. This was lighter, I think I actually might like it because the radiance underneath it is still popping through and I think it looks absolutely divine. Okay, guys, I'm gonna put some concealer on, some powder to set my face real quick, and then we're gonna come back and do more of that. Gary. Okay, guys, so I'm back, and we just have a little bit of bronzer on the skin, and we have our foundation concealer, everything is set in place under my eyes, and that's about it. That's all we got. Video's done, goodbye. Just kidding. Anyway, so I'm obviously noticing that the face is darker than my neck, and this is like darker than usual for me. Anyway. We're gonna go and use a little bit of the Ultimate Trio by Sosu Suzanne Jackson is the brand. And we're gonna do a little bit of just like the highlighter underneath the eyes. It's like a yellowy white. We're just a little bit of that underneath. Just to give us a little bit of some stem. I love a good under eye brightener. Especially when it doesn't have a lot of coverage. Like I like it when it just gives me a little bit of color and not too much coverage because then it just looks cakey under these eyes, you know? And this is actually really nice. This color is really, really nice too for me. Hmm. And they also have a contour in here, which we have to use. Just a little bit. It's definitely more of a cooler tone brown, but still on the neutral side. It's definitely more neutral. It's not super cool. I'm just adding a little bit of definition right there. I tend to honestly, you guys, nowadays, I don't really contour. Do you guys contour a lot still? I honestly just notice I don't do it anymore. My nose, absolutely. <laughs> I will contour my nose the house down. But like on my face, I honestly just like some dimension on the face. I don't really contour anymore. But the nose, absolutely. I'll throw some shadows down my nose too. It's, honestly, it's a nice color and it's a nice formula. It's not like too kick a bead, not too powdery. I'm really, really enjoying it to be honest. This Sosu brand is actually slaying me so far. Like the products I've used from her. And then we have Glow, which is like a highlighter, which feels really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the uh, liquid illuminator because I'm really curious. Even though we've already liquid illuminated our face under with our primer, we really did that already. So I'm kind of scared. Like what if this is dark as fuck? I'm gonna put some on this side. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's actually literally stunning. And it's drying so fast. Like, I don't feel like it's disrupting my foundation at all. Look at that. It just gives me like a glassy appearance. It's not too heavy and it's not super intense, but it just gives me that glow. Ooh, I'm gonna put some more on this side too. I'm over here like, no, just do one side. No, I want both. Cause that's really nice. Cause it dries so fast and it's not heavy. Like it doesn't look like it's like a super insane shine. Like it'll just be a nice, like almost like primer for my highlighter after. Glassy. And a little sassy. I like that. I like that. I like the way it's drying down to. It's drying down to a powder finish. Oh, I love it. Let's go in. I'm gonna try a little bit of these both of these highlighters. I'm gonna take this one right here, this highlighter, and I'm gonna take this glow highlighter as well. Just gonna try on both sides of my face and just see. We have this one right here with this K. What is this swatch like? I'm curious. This swatch is really, really intensely. Holy mother of pearl. Mother of pearl. Also has a very yellow undertone, which kind of worries me because I'm a pale motherfucker. Obviously, it's gonna look different because I'm on top of a highlighter, but I'm just gonna lightly place that on. Holy shit. Holy shit. You guys. <laughs> did I go a little ham? I think I did. So I'm gonna take that shade Glow as well on the other side, just to see. They honestly look exactly the same on my face. You guys, am I giving you that Ireland Glow? The Luck of the Irish is here. Do you guys watch Look of the Irish on fucking Disney Channel? Do you guys remember that? When the boy, he was like half leprechaun. <gasps> that was a good movie. Oh, what are you doing? I don't know. I can't help it. I'm really liking this highlighter, by the way. They're both really nice. So I'm going to swatch both of them so you can see. The one in Glow, what it looks like, and the one in the palette looks like. So these are the shades right here. They look honestly so similar. This one just has more of a white undertone, which is the, which is that one? Oh, the one in the bigger palette. This one has more of a white undertone. This one has more of a true gold undertone. You can see it. When I move my finger back, you can see the undertones easier. See that? More golden, more white base. But they honestly, on the face, look really similar. Two golds. Two pale golds. I mean, they look stunning. <laughs> Even without a base underneath it, it's still blinding. Like, it's still very, very intense. See, okay, and it's going with a little bit of that blush too. This shade of blush. 
Uh, you have to be careful because it's like so close. That kind of worries me a little bit. I don't like that it's this close. I'm like, ah, uh, please don't get the other shades. I'm just scared that's gonna get on the brush and like these colors will go on my face because they're so compact. I think it aesthetically looks gorgeous, but I feel like because those are so compact, I'm like, it kind of worries me a little bit that it'll get all over my face if I accidentally just kind of go like, mm -mm, not realizing there's like dark strip tones next to it. You know what I mean? I'm just putting a little bit of that blush between the highlighter to calm it down and the bronzer. Just give me a little flush to the skin. See? Just something soft and subtle and supple. Shit. I'm getting, like, see, I'm getting like the highlighter on the other, like half of the brush because I keep dipping in the way it is. <sighs> that blush is also stunning, by the way. Oh, <laughs> gorgeous. That color is gorgeous. I love this color. That's like a pinky with gold, like tiny, tiny gold reflect in it, but you can't even see the gold on the face. Like it's nice. It's like a really, really pretty peachy pink. Okay, honestly, so far, the makeup's been slaying me. I feel like I've never looked more uh, glowy, by the way. I've never looked more glimmery because also the primer. Oh my God, like there's so much glow on this face right now. <gasps> Also, ignore my nail. Mm -hmm. Laura painted them. We painted them together and you know, things happen. Anxiety happens and you pick. Let's move on to the brow. I'm gonna do a little bit of this brow and see with this ultra thin brow pencil. Oh God, I'm looking at my skin right now though. It's like, seriously, it's not my color. I feel so dark, like so much more oxidized than usual because of that primer. So uh, it's just kind of throwing me off that I feel like I look really, really, really tan. More tan than usual. This pencil's stunning. That is in the shade dark brown. It's like the honestly the perfect shade for me. It's going on super nicely. It's creamy, but it's not like too creamy where it feels like it's gonna fucking clog my pores. Do you guys ever get like a, a pimple in your brow? I will sometimes. And I feel like it's because of the brow, the product being so creamy and like emollient and gets stuck in there in your pores and your little brow pores. Follicles. This pencil's oh, so sickening. <laughs> I really like this pencil. <laughs> so easy. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some primer and finish the brow off camera, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so we are back, and the brows are filled. Irish edition. Back in the brows are filled. 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 Period. Baton. We're gonna move on. I already primed my eyes. I used the KVD primer, which I've been really, really, really liking recently. The brows are on it. Honestly, the product for the brow was literally stunning. Love the brow products. I already have them in my little um, jar next to me that I have my brow products in because they're staying on the desk. Anyway, guys, the face is looking stunning. I'm living so far. Other than the fact that I feel like I'm too dark, I put bronzer on my neck to kind of just help make me feel not so, not my color. But I feel like it's honestly looking really, really pretty. The blush is stunning. Guys, speaking of blush, my blush palette, Moon Prism Blush Palette is coming back next month. She's coming back next month. Final fucking Lee, dude. Final fucking Lee. Oh! <laughs> that is stunning. You're stu you know how stunning you are? You sold out, you little fucker. Okay, anyway, guys, so now we're gonna move on to the shadows and we're gonna take this little palette here, which is honestly gorgeous. I love the color story too. I just love it. I just think the way this is built, like, I truly just really like it. I'm gonna take a little bit of this neutral brown right there. Take a little bit of that shade too, whatever shade that is, that like mustardy yellow. Put that into the crease and just see how the pigmentation is. And it's there and she is there. Oh, I love that. Obviously like the KBD primer does wonders, but I can tell that the product itself is actually stunning. Look at that, I love that like yellowy tint. Oh, that's really pretty. That's stunning. There's so many things you can do with this. Like there's so many options. You guys, by the way, the shadows are working absolutely gorgeously. Like they are performing super well. They're pigmented, they blend super easily. This brand, I'm actually very impressed with Miss um, Sosu. I haven't tried a ton of their products, but honestly, after this, I'm very, very impressed. Like that looks gorgeous. Take a little bit of a warmer brown maybe right here. And I see with that little pinky color, a little pinky brown moment. I'm just running that. Hey, look at the shadows are working really nicely. Look at their pigmented, easy to use. Just taking that a little bit lower, by the way. A little romantic eye, if you will. A warm pinky brown moment. Blending so easily. So easily. What the hell? By the way, you guys, this is made in China, which again, I'm, I'm very impressed. Like I'm very, very impressed with the quality here. I think it's honestly doing fantastic. So question you guys, by the way, just a random question. For my brand with Lunar Beauty, I just have a question. Would you guys rather it be strictly made in the US? And the price point that it is, because obviously like being made in the US is so much more expensive. The price point that I have usually, you know, like a palette, it's like 48 bucks for 15 shades, which I feel like is a really, really great deal for how much it costs me to actually make this stuff. But would you guys be down to like have products made in other places of the world? 
if they're, it's a little bit less expensive. I'm just curious, not that I have anything that I, I can even do that right now with, I don't have any connector or anything like that, but I'm just, I'm just like wondering, like as a brand owner myself, I'm like, if I created something from Italy or China or wherever it might be, and I can make it cheaper, but still high quality, would you guys be down for that? Or would you guys, do you guys like it that it's like, made in the US. I'm just curious, like this is literally just like a genuine open topic of discussion for me. Like I'm just genuinely very curious what you guys think. For me, I feel like as long as the quality is good, I don't really mind where it's made, to be quite honest. Do you guys care where something's made or do you guys just want it to be high quality product as well? I'm curious. And there's no right or wrong answer for that. There's literally no right or wrong answer. It's literally just what your opinion is on something. So anyway, you guys, so we have this gorgeous eye, <laughs> which honestly the shadow's been forming <laughs> gorgeously. I wanna take this really pretty like warm pink here to put on the lid. But I also have these, these little fucking things. Like it says pigment, but like two of these are glitter, straight up glitter. And then one of them is actually like a pigment product. I'll use the pigment on the inner corner. I'll just stick to this for the eye. Okay, should we do this one right here? I feel like that looks really pretty. I feel like I'm giving you really fall right now, even though we're fully in summer. I don't care. It just looks so nice. Look at the quality. Look at this. That's so, oh my God, that's so good. Look at this. Look at it. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. I'm going to squirt. That's stunning, and the cover is stunning. There's obviously some fallout on that one because it's more of a, you know, loosely packed shadow. It's like a shimmer, so it's gonna be more fallout, but I'm using it with my finger and it's definitely, definitely helping with the fallout situation. Why do I think that's literally stunning? Like, oh my God. Ah! I feel like I wanna do the purple on the lower lash line just to kind of like be that girl. You know what I'm saying? Hmm, can I, can I pull that shit off? Can I pull that off? Is it like one of those shades I can pack onto the bottom lash line? Cause it's really, really bright. Or is it gonna not perform like how I want it to? We'll see, cause I just, I just wanna run it on my lower lash line. Just to give it that little pop. I think that's actually very pretty. Okay guys, I'm gonna go pop a lash on really quickly, get some mascara on, pop a lash on, and we'll be back to use that little pigment and then lip and we'll be done and we'll talk about what we think of the box. Okay guys, so we're back and we have some lashes on now. We have that little pair of Sosu lashes is what we're wearing right now. The lashes are cute. Are they a lit pair I would grab? Normally, they're not. They're like a lot smaller than I usually like to go for, but I think the eye turned out adorable and I'm really, really liking it, like color story-wise. I think it's really, really, really cute. But I also wanted to try this on camera with you guys. This is like the little pigment, right? And you open this little flap and you have a little white pigment in there and I'm so excited to try this out. On the inner corner, just to kind of press her on. Mm. It's popping. It's popping. It gives me, do you know what this reminds me of? I'm dead. This reminds me of MAC Reflect Pearl. It's like almost like a reflective pigment. Oh my God, I should have put glitter glue down. But look at this, look at this. <laughs> it's literally so gnarly. Oh God, I need glitter glue. Okay, next time I use this, I'll definitely be using glitter glue. Because there will be a next time I'll be using this because this is absolutely gorgeous. It's so reflective and stunning. Holy fuck. What color is this? Mainzy? I'm in love. I'm actually in love. Taking a little bit of this color, by the way, the highlighter color, and just popping that on the brow bone a little bit. Give us a little bit of sheen. Okay, done with the eye. Honestly, I'm impressed. Very impressed, especially with that fucking pigment. Oh my God. The other two in the little pack were okay. They're just like loose glitters. Not my tea, but this Mainzy is absolutely taking my breath away. Take my breath away. I'm gonna take a little bit of this clear gloss. So I'm just curious to see what it feels like. It's probably going with like a lipstick. I wanted to see like texture wise, like is it sticky? That's actually a gorgeous consistency. Ooh. I need to wipe that off. That shit was thick though. Ooh, she's thick. But it feels really nice on. Mm, I like that. That little lip glaze, dewy lip glaze. That felt good. Let's go ahead and put one of the lipsticks on. I'm not exactly sure which one I want to do. Which one? That's way too dark. It's way darker than it looks in here. Okay, maybe none of these, because these are all way too dark. Like, I thought these were going to be a lot lighter. Look, like, those are so dark. Maybe I'll just go in with that note color, and then we'll do the gloss on top. So let's see. Tell me why I've been using this e.l.f. lip liner so much. The Retro Paradise one. Okay, we are lip lined for the gods. And now let's go in with this note. Matte Ever Lip Ink, which makes me worry because I don't, I'm not into the matte like lipstick vibes anymore. Like that's just not my tea. It's not my journey. I'm really enjoying more of a like soft lip that like has texture and like will move and like a soft matte lip or like a gloss or like a lipstick. But I'll be putting a gloss on top for sure. Super super thin by the way. Like going on the list, it's really thin. 
It's a pe major peach undertone. I wonder if this is like high-end or drugstore in Ireland. Like, I wonder what like the vibe is, you know what I mean? So obviously it's drying down to a matte consistency. You know how it gets like a little tacky before it dries down fully? That's where we're at right now. Look at the little glitter falling on my nose because I didn't put glitter glue. I didn't know. <gasps> I didn't know. Mmm, it is sticky. Let's go in with that clear gloss and probably ruin the wand. I wish I picked up more product. I feel like this doesn't pick up enough product. That's stunning with the gloss. And that's it! Ah! We well, guys, we're officially done. This is all the products I got here from Miss Ireland. By the way, you guys, this was from Be Perfect. In case you, I didn't say the brand name. This, like the little pigments from were from Be Perfect. Bitch, I'm living. I'm living for the quads, moi, moi. Like this looks honestly so, so cool. I'm so excited like that I was able to do this. Thank you so much to Maria for doing this with me. I had so much fun doing this video. Thank you for sending it out to me. I appreciate it so, so, so much. I love getting to see different like makeup and things around the world and just even like the little trinkets that I got to. I love, 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 love them. They're so incredible and so amazing. And honestly, I had such an amazing time. A lot of the products here honestly worked fantastically. So how do you probably my favorite like makeup box so far like the makeup in this has like been so 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 amazing are we sleeping on ireland makeup i think we are because i'm very impressed i'm very 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 impressed anyways you guys thank you so much for watching let me know down below where i should do a box from next i already have a box coming from germany which i'm so excited about oh i cannot wait let me know what we should do after that what you guys might want to do also p.s please 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 do not email me about sending me a box my email is for like business Strictly. <laughs> so please do not email me about sending me a box. I appreciate it so much. And I appreciate you guys reaching out and asking to send me a box from wherever you're from. And I honestly feel like it's so, so sweet. And I just appreciate you guys doing that. But my email, it's strictly for business. So please do not email me on there. Um, if you guys want to send me one, please like leave your handle, DM me on Instagram, tweet me, just not my emails. Please, I beg you, do not email me about it. But honestly, this turned out phenomenal. I've been loving this series and I'm so happy you guys have been liking it too. So I cannot wait to do our next one. But so far, honestly, Ireland slayed me. Ireland fucking slayed me. Good job. Luck of the Irish came through. My hand is always fucked when I do these videos. Have a great Sunday night or day wherever you guys are and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye. I love you. Oh, mother of pearl. Oh, oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hola pendejas. How do I do an Irish accent? So hi, how are you guys doing? Um, boof head. Phone stop, we're not doing this right now. I'm shook, I'm shocked. I love her. Oh. Do I look stunning or do I look swanning? <laughs> how are you guys doing this gorgeous day? Mm. Do I have a pimple there? <gasps> Why no one tell me? Back in the browser filled. Back in the browser filled. Back in the browser filled.